Welcome back. This is uh, Unreal Engine course, and uh, we're moving on to uh, texturing our landscape. And this one will build up our textures and make them scalable uh, out to distance and uh, up close and have the normal maps working really good, and uh, it'll look really nice. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. There's that. There's our material instance. We can adjust things. Now, to do the next part here, we're going to need to replace this color to material attribute function with something a little bit better. And uh, mainly because we're going to change these out for actual textures with UVs and all that. So we're going to need a couple of different inputs. So we've got our material uh, function here called color to material attributes. Let's replace that. Let's create a new material function. And we're going to call this texture scale. MF for material function. Texture scale. And we'll take this up to our open world material and we'll drop it in here. And we're going to, uh, well, we won't delete them just yet. We're going to replace this, though, with a texture that we're going to put through there. So let's open this up. And uh, very similar to what we did over here uh, on this one, we're going to need this make attributes because we're going to want to put uh, make material attributes. We're going to want to control those. <coughs> And just initially, uh, we'll just put in some textures. Uh, so what we want here is a uh, input. Uh, we want a function input. And we want a texture sample. And we'll just go ahead and put this into the preview and we'll put this into the base color and we'll come down here and we will select uh, T underscore grass D T underscore grass T and we will need uh, actually we can press uh, hold the U and just click and we can get texture coordinates which we can plug into here so now whatever texture we put in there will come out right now it's gonna gonna preview as grass but this is a texture input so we will be able to bypass this. This is just for preview purposes. So let's put in uh, another texture sample. And we'll select this as uh, T underscore grass, brown grass normals. Put those texture coordinates in there. What? input function input plug that into there and we'll plug this into the normal input and so now we have a function that we can send a texture into uh, and a UV into we have to send or not uh, uh, a UV map a normal map excuse me a texture map a texture and a normal map We'll get it straight one of these days. So that's our function. And we'll go back to our material. And so now we've got these two inputs. So let's get rid of this color stuff. We don't need it anymore. And we're going to treat some textures exactly the same way. And we're going to start with our... Uh, uh, T underscore ground uh, texture T 
texture sample. We'll copy this, control W, and that'll be our first one, which we will select here. We will use that same one, T underscore ground glass, grass D, and T underscore ground grass N. So I did bring some textures in from the uh, from the Unreal uh, Engine. Uh, that's all I brought in was the textures. We're going to set up the materials based on them our own way, uh, doing various things. We'll put this in. Uh, you know what? I probably should have named those. So let's go back over here. And here's our input. And this input is going to be the texture and this input we're going to call it the normals and we will save that that will make this a little bit easier to read there's our normals of course they're upside down we'll swap these around just so the wires don't cross plug this into the normals this into the texture we'll grab all three of these we'll come down here We'll hit Control W, move them over, and Control W, and move them over. And actually, I think I had decided before that grass was kind of the bottom one. If this is going to be grass, we'll put it down here, and we'll put this one up here. And we will, this is the normals, so we will select T underscore round. Uh, rock sandstone slate basalt normal I like the basalt one so we'll grab this one and we'll type in basalt D Yep, that's the basalt and for this middle one here um, we want sand maybe or dirt is it mud T underscore ground moss grass gravel we'll use gravel D. And then we will go ahead and plug those right back in where they were. This goes into the A here. This goes into the B here. And this one goes into the B here. Ooh, okay. Getting a little bit more complex. We'll save it, and uh, we are definitely going to be compiling some shaders. So, while that's compiling the shaders, ah, 575 shaders. Okay, we'll uh, we'll be back when that's done compiling. Okay, we're back. The shaders are compiled. There's our uh, nice rocky sphere filled with basalt and grass. And here's our uh, here's our textured landscape. However, there's a problem with it, and that is this tiling that occurs. You see it when you're back away from it here. It looks especially bad. What the heck? Oh, that's my. I want to go into this mode, so I don't have that brush floating around. We haven't painted the whole landscape yet, but if we go in here to play and we get down close to it, it really doesn't look too bad up close. Oh, it's a bit shiny too. We got to fix that. That's an easy fix. But you can see it's got some pretty good texture. But when you back away from it, you start seeing the pattern of the the, the texture, and and we really want it to stay looking rocky from distance, okay, uh, and not look like uh, not look all flattened out and so forth. So we're gonna fix that, and that's gonna take a little. It's gonna be a little bit mathy, but not too bad. 
uh, we're going to use some uh, use some math functions and create a uh, or update our uh, our scale function that we created so that it uh, can can scale this and make it look good. We're also going to fix this uh, shininess of the grass and the rock. So let's go into our material. Um, actually, we want to go into our. We can close this one. We're not going to use that anymore. Uh, this material function. Okay. Uh, this material function is a little bit more complex. Um, we're going to start by fixing that shininess. And we're going to do that by pressing the 1 and clicking. This gives us a scalar value, which we're going to put into this metallic spot here. And we're going to leave that at zero, forcing the forcing this ground material to have no metallic shininess. We're going to press the one again and click. And we're going to set this to one, and we're going to set this into the roughness. And it's probably going to require a shader recompile, be my guess. Of course it is. But we get back here, and the shaders need to recompile. So. I'll pause the video again. We'll take a look at that and take a look at the shininess, and then we'll get into the uh, math part. Okay, the shaders are still compiling a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, we're uh, uh, we can see the terrain now. I'll hit play. Those lines you see through the terrain are because the uh, lighting needs to be compiled. We'll take care of that once we get this all straightened out. I got rid of the shininess. And we can see this a little bit better. Uh, the light color, I believe, is the just the blending of the of the grass in with uh, probably gravel. Um, here's a patch of looks like that's a patch of gravel there. This is the rock. It's looking pretty good, but it needs to scale. You can see up here those lines through it where it where it's got patterns in it. That doesn't look good and it needs to be scaled so that that goes away and we're going to do that right now. So, we'll go back to our function. Alright, we already have our, our inputs all set up. I'm going to spread this stuff out a little bit here what we have to do is some calculations based on these texture coordinates so I'm gonna pull the texture coordinates up here and I'm gonna add a couple more inputs and what I want to do is so let's add an input this is a function input. We can collapse it. We don't care about that. And another one input. I could have just duplicated that. but So we're going to call this one near scaling. And we'll call this one far scaling. Okay, so we've got those two values. Now what we need to do is multiply. So all we're doing is going to take this texture coordinate here, plug it into the A value, and multiply it by this near scaling. But we're also going to take and another multiply. We're going to take this texture coordinate here into the A and multiply it by the far scaling. So now we've got control over a pair of values near scaling and far scaling. And the near scaling, the near scaling we're going to leave at, we're going to set to 1 on all of these. And the far scaling will start out by setting it to 0 0.1 on all of them. 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And this is an input, so we can uh, adjust it. 
<clears throat> but that's their default values. Now, this is where it gets just a little bit tricky. We're going to take and, and have two identical texture samples and two identical UV samples. Right, so that's our input and it's our sample. And what I'm going to do is duplicate this, Control W. And I'm going to plug this into this Uh, oh no, that's the texture input. I'm sorry. Delete that. Yes. Uh, let me think about this. Uh, we have our input. Okay, that's right. This is what's confusing me. This is just the preview. This is the input. This is our texture sample. This is our texture sample. I've got this, uh, I did something weird here. I've got this backwards. I'm gonna take these two, uh, I'm gonna duplicate this, move it up here. delete this. Yes, delete it. I'm going to duplicate this one, pull it down here. Pull this stuff back here a bit. Okay, here's our input. We can have a preview on that if we want, but this is our texture sample. And we want this input going into this texture sample. Why can't we? Okay, very simple. <laughs> uh, of course it was simple. Um, so when you, we put, let me delete this and I'll do it again. Yes, delete it. Uh, we, we get a function input. I forgot. Come over here and we, we need to change this to texture 2D and uh, plug that into the texture. And we'll do that down here as well. Input. Change this here to Texture 2D. And plug this into the texture. Okay. And then we can, we can hook up a, a preview uh, texture if we want. Uh, it doesn't make that much difference. Well, yeah, it does. Actually, we'll do our... Promote to parameter. <clears throat> That's what we wanted to do. Then we can come down here and select this grass. D. Okay. And we can we can get rid of this texture sample input texture sample. Yeah, we can get rid of this. <clears throat> Delete this. <clears throat> And we want to go here and promote to parameter. <coughs> and we'll make this grass. This will be the normal for the preview. So that's our texture. This input here is our normal. Okay. That's all set up. We've done this bit of scaling here. but we've got some more that we need to do. <sighs> we've got our UVs, our near and far UVs. So what I said was we're gonna have two of these. So coming off the same input, this is our texture sample. Control W that and bring this same input into this texture, but bring this texture coordinates. No, we want this texture coordinates. So this is going to be the near 
and this is going to be the far and hopefully that got the near and far for that and then we've got to do I'm gonna to have to expand this out we need to duplicate this and as soon as I get this wired up here I will do my best to explain it so there's our two UVs and we need to bring our near UV down here and our far UV or our far texture coordinate down here now we have our near and far texture coordinates that we can go ahead and that we can go ahead and wire up to this and for the moment what we will do is grab this bring it in here just a little bit closer so we can see and we'll take oh yeah now we've got us we've got to do some lurping between them I almost forgot now we got to move this back we can't just hook so okay let me explain this portion <laughs> okay this is uh, a scale factor for when we're near something it's just going to be the normal texture when we're far away from it it's going to be drastically scaled by 0.1 <clears throat> we're multiplying that together to get these new these new looking textures so we can go here and uh, we should be able to preview this do I have do I have to enable preview in this version enable real-time preview and then uh, start previewing and of course it doesn't want to preview it why we're bringing texture in okay well we will stop previewing mode I might have to have it hooked up all we're doing here is scaling it and we're creating two textures one that's near us and one that's far away from us but we don't want to just jump from near to far we don't want it to just switch what we want to do is interpolate between them and uh, that's going to be based on a couple of parameters uh, inputs uh, the blend distance and the blend sharpness so we're going to add those inputs so input I N P U T function input where'd it go we can collapse this we don't need to see it like that and we're gonna call this we're gonna call this input what well, we're gonna call this blend distance and we'll duplicate it and we'll call this one blend sharpness all right what we're going to do between these two okay we do need one other piece of information here called pixel depth so the pixel depth if we uh, uh, hit control and alt on this the pixel depth expression outputs the depth or distance from the camera to the pixel currently being rendered and this is where we actually want to subtract I made a mistake here break that link and ah, break that link we want to take that distance and subtract this blend distance from it and then we've got the blend sharpness we're going to come here and we're going to divide because we want to get the ratio between this distance and this blend sharpness factor that we're going to input so this is an input and this is an input this is sort of like the distance to the pixel we're looking at but then we only want a number between 0 and 1 so we need to clamp this 
take this value, clamp it, and the min is zero and the max is one, which is exactly what we want. Those are the defaults. Now what we're going to do, move this aside, we need to lerp between these two. That's a linear interpolation. So what we're going to do is type in lerp and the kind of lerp that we want. Oh, it's linear interpolate. This is the alpha value. This value we calculated here based on that pixel depth is how much we want to move from this one, the close one, and this one, the far one, and how we want to blend between them. So we take this RGB output here and plug it into this lerp here. We take this RGB output here, <clears throat> plug it into here, and this now becomes our base color. And with that, this should be able to <clears throat> apply. Oh, uh, not quite. What are we missing here? near scaling blend okay yep okay figured it out so um yeah we we don't want to use these anymore so i'm going to delete those textures i'm going to come in here now we're back in our main material and we're using that that function that we created that texture scale function we need to go through here and promote these two parameters all the way down just promote to parameter Promote to parameter and promote to parameter <laughs> and promote to parameter. Okay, these can collapse. Uh, blend distance. Why won't that? Why is that insisting on? <laughs> it's some weird weird uh, behavior with this uh, this thing all right I'm gonna pause the video again <laughs> and figure out what's going on with these parameters okay uh, figured it out so in here these parameters I created this input blend distance input blend sharpness we need to come here and change this to input scalar and we got to do the same thing with this one. This has got to be an input scalar. And this one here is also an input scalar. And then we can apply this. And we're back in our material. It switched us back over there. And now when I uh, go here and promote this to a parameter, it's a parameter that I'm expecting. So it's just a scalar value. And we can promote these three, promote this to a parameter, and there it is. And we don't need to re-promote these every time. We actually want all three of these materials we're putting in here to get the same parameters uh, every time. These are uh, different materials. We haven't assigned anything yet. <clears throat> these we do, of course. Uh, the actual texture and normal we want to promote that to a parameter and promote that to a parameter as these are our three different uh, and the texture promote to a parameter and the normal and promote to a parameter and then these <clears throat> this is a bit tedious but this can be hooked up as this is blend distance so we go down here to blend distance and blend sharpness and blend scaling and then down here down here down here down here okay that part's all hooked up we have our uh, that was a bit a bit tedious but now we can get this in a little bit closer here and we should have the ability to scale these now we need to hook these up these will be fairly simple because all we have to do we have our parameters here all we need is this stuff here we'll come down here 
right about here. Control W. Move these over a bit. This input goes into A. This input here goes into B. This input goes into here. And then this is going to lerp between this one and this one and this oops this output is going to go into the normals okay that's all hooked up <laughs> and that should be correct we hit apply go back to our materials now we got to go assign these so this is our uh, our layer one material this needs to be was this grass up here grass D and this one grass N gravel D Gravel N. And was this basalt D and basalt N. And these are <clears throat> parameters, so we can actually change them in our material instance, but we'll leave these as the defaults. We'll hit apply, and it's going to compile a bunch of shaders. So we will pause the video and we'll be back when the shaders are done and we will take a look at our new terrain. Okay, the shaders are done and we're going to go over here to our world and already we can see things look much nicer. We'll go into play mode. We'll expand this out a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Actually, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to change my play mode to a uh, new editor window and we'll maximize it and here's our here's our world look at this rock this looks much better up close than what we had before and this looks like it's mixing in with some gravel and uh, it's doing a really nice job we will work on the lighting the sun's not that great right now we'll uh, we'll add some things in but when we look up at the grass from a distance it doesn't look all funky uh, I fixed the lighting as well. We didn't paint all of this down there. We'll have to do that up close. The grass looks much better. Uh, this is the underlay of the grass, of course. Uh, we'll run up here. There's the rock. <sighs> all right, that's it for this section. Uh, we're going to move on and uh, do the remainder of the, the little bit of texturing cleanup and other stuff in the next video and also add in... Uh, uh, some uh, transparency that allow us to cut holes in the uh, in the landscape. So <clears throat> I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications when I upload a video, hit the notify button. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.